inch chamber piece. One of these slips is going to go on here. Now I'm not gluing these because this is for demonstration purposes. These parts you would definitely want to glue and you're going to want to be pretty liberal with your gluing as well because you don't want to have any links so slop it on there pretty good. This next piece slides right in here like this. This last piece slips right into here. So we're going to set that down. Same with the barrel. Put this slip joint on there. Set that there. We have two more pieces just like the ones that we put on the chamber. I'm going to slide that in there. That one in there. These parts you also glue. Okay, so we're going to go back to our air chamber now. We need to drill one more hole. And that's going to go right here, and that's for our pressure valve to go in. All right? So we're going to switch out our bits. I've already done so. I've got my, uh, my next smallest bit here, which is a quarter inch bit, I believe. And I'm going to line it up. We're going to lock it down with our pipe clamp so it doesn't jump around on us. right where we want it. We're going to go ahead and drill this out. Same as before, we're just going to take our time and do it slowly. Now we're going to pull out our, our pressure uh, gauge here, unpack it from its box, go ahead and toss the box, you don't need it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hand thread this right into the hole we just drilled. And you don't want to stress on this thing too much. When it starts getting feeling really tight with your hand, go ahead and switch to your 916 wrench. And we're going to finish cranking it down. Just take your time, do it slowly so you don't cross thread it. We don't want to strip it out because this has to be airtight. And I'll crank it around until my gauge looks like it's lined up nice and neat. If this, if you're holding it like a gun, you want your gauge to read this way. So, there's our air chamber. We've got our Schrader valve for filling it with air. We've got our pressure gauge to let us know how much is air that we put in there. I only, only use about 80 pounds. I never need to go more than 80 PSI on these things. They shoot plenty far without it. So our chamber is all glued together, our barrel is all glued together. So we're going to put our sprinkler valve back together. Now that the glue is dried, we're going to put our spring in. We're going to put our cap, there's a, little, there's a little notch in here, as you can see. And the spring fits right on that thing, just like that. Just make sure it lines up. Pop it on there, put the screws back in, my little ratchet uh, screwdriver, I'm just going to uh, tighten them down, get a good snug fit there. And what I do is I go to opposite ends, I don't do it one after another like this. I go one here, then I bounce over here, do the opposite end, lock that one down, go back over to this side, lock this one down, jump down maybe to the bottom on the left side here, tighten this one down, and basically what this does 
kind of like putting a, a gasket on your car motor. It, it, it keeps it from pinching on one corner or getting warped because there is a little gasket in there. We want to keep it as flat and as uh, evenly pressured as possible. Once we have that all tight, make sure that our trigger assembly piece in here is nice and tight. Feels pretty good to me. So the thing we need to pay attention to is this angle here, this 45 degree angle piece. As you can see, this means it's face, facing forward, okay? Now, some of these have an arrow on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little arrow here in front of where the hole is, and it's pointing this way. This shows you the airflow. So we want the air to be going out the cannon, but the air chamber is in here. So the air is in the chamber, and it goes out the barrel. So we're going to flip this over. And it's actually going to point backwards. So we're going to put our nipple on here, screw one in here. And this thing goes directly to the chamber here. Just screw it in there. Now this, this part of the cannon I don't glue in case you ever need to replace this valve. They last for a couple years, but when they do wear out, you're going to want to put a new one on there. So I always leave this part unglued because the tighter you go, it expands, it holds itself tight. The chamber and the barrel will be glued, but the nipples and the actual valve itself, I don't glue. So as you can see, I've got this in here. You're going to have it facing up this way, so we're going to face, face this down just a little bit and we can adjust that later. So we're going to throw our second nipple in here. I'm going to throw an elbow piece on here. Another nipple in here. Basically, we're just building the, the air chamber for it to flow with. Put another elbow piece here. And you can tighten these down later. I'm just kind of doing it snug so you can see. I'm going to throw this other nipple, our last nipple here, into the barrel. And now the barrel, you can attach to this last elbow piece and twist it and it'll screw itself right into place. Just like that. Now with the ring that came with your kit, we're going to slip that over the end of the barrel and we're going to slip it over the end of the chamber piece right here. So if it doesn't fit, just loosen it a little bit. This one seems to fit pretty nicely. So I'm going to take my little 5 16 socket thing here and I'm just going to cinch it up. This works a lot better than a, using a screwdriver. Don't over tighten it, you don't need to. So you can see we're starting to take shape here and you can adjust this so that your uh, pressure gauge is facing up towards you a little bit more and as you twist this up, go ahead and twist your chamber down it's still all nice and lined up. The last thing we need to do here is we're going to open up our uh, our little trigger assembly. I just got this at Home Depot. It's just your regular little blowgun trigger assembly. Your trigger assembly, it's already set up to receive your uh, your quarter inch nipple here. We're just going to screw that on. Face it forward. And there you have it, your MBTS30 t-shirt launcher. All you need to do is add a little air in here. It takes about two seconds. Fill it up to about 80 PSI. Put your t-shirt in there, stuff it down the barrel with a uh, broomstick or a yardstick. And boom, off you go. You're good to go. So this is Mick from American Air Cannons saying thanks for watching and uh, happy shooting.